Good evening. We're on Don Outdoor Adventures. I don't know if you guys can hear me well. I'm, in, I'm sitting inside the blind here. And I uh, got my crossbow out. Uh, trying to get it set up here a little bit. And uh, talk to you for a minute while I got a break. Thought I'd get out here this morning and try to do a little uh, deer hunting with my crossbow. And uh, it was nice and cold this morning, but I think it's warming up. And they're not, uh, I don't really think they're moving in the uh, in the mornings. I think they're more in the evenings uh, moving around. But uh, but it still was a nice day out, a uh, nice morning. Um, all I've been seeing is blue jays coming up on the top of my feeder out there. Um, I'll try to turn it around. But uh, there's my feeder right out there, that white pole sticking up. And you can see I got a pretty good setup. Normally, I'm thinking they're going to come out of here and come down to the uh, feeder or off to the side over here. And on the back side of that feeder also they come. But um, they um, they hadn't started moving that, that much in the mornings, I think. Uh, but I uh, just want to show you a little bit of my gear. I got a uh, elite uh, deer collar. It's got three calls on it: uh, buck, doe, and a fawn. And uh, I'm gonna do uh, let's do a buck, mature buck call. This is what it sounds like. <coughs> got the flex tubing on it so you can turn it in either direction you want to go either up where it's out loud or down to where you can uh, keep it kind of muffled and um, I've had a few on answer me um, in the past but nothing today but um, let's move up to uh, that was a mature buck I'm just going to go to a regular buck sound this time I'm gonna send it in my to my left. Sometimes you can do that to intimidate a mature buck that's uh, roaming the area because um, it's like a territorial thing. If a young buck comes in. He's going to want to come in and challenge it. And uh, sometimes you can get lucky and get a, get a fight or he's on alert looking for uh, that young buck saying, this is my area and you can't come into it. So now we're going to do a, let's do a doe call. Just slide it up. It's got a little slide lever. See that red, yellow, and white? This little piece right here slides. So you can slide it up to whatever name you want. And we're going to go for, for a doe call this time. And see, you can do that, and that might tell a buck that, hey, I'm over here, come on, see what I got. And we're um, getting into the rut, that's when the the big bucks are going to start chasing the females and trying to mate with them. So you kind of intimidate that by using a doe call. My next one is a, is a fawn. Sometimes the does uh, uh, be uh, in distress sometimes, worried about their fawns, and you can make that fawn call, and sometimes you can bring them out. And sometimes the buck will come with that doe. And so sometimes you can get a, a big doe come out, a mature doe, or you can get a big buck coming out to see what's going on with this little one. So we're going to do that one and, and see, see how it sounds. <coughs>
that sounds like a, a fawn that's hurt or in distress and uh, we're trying to get the, the does to come see hey what's going on with my with my, my little one so we can get a shot off at a mature uh, doe and sometimes like I said a, a buck would be curious also so you never know what you're going to get but uh, but yeah this is my setup here I got a fang uh, crossbow here set up I got a little camouflage on the top uh, this thing has killed a lot of deer for me and uh, we set up about 18 yards out 18 to 20 yards out there and uh, I got the, the netting they're supposed to shoot through the netting without damaging I mean without um, deflecting the arrow so that's what I'm hoping for today that it uh, that it'll do that for me but uh, I think I'm gonna get get ready to get out of here. It's getting a little warm right now, and I don't think they uh, are gonna come around. So, might come back for an evening hunt, but I gotta get the. Uh, I need to put some more camouflage on the outside of this thing. So, so yep. I'm gonna get out of here and maybe do a little fishing at the pond over here. I hear some bass calling my name. So, fresh, cool water, cool weather, and cool water fish. Sounds good to me. All right. We'll see you next time on Don Outdoor Adventures. Hopefully we'll have a buck on the ground. All right. We'll see you next time.